Every year, thousands of children are diagnosed with autism, and some parents say it's an issue that has quickly become an epidemic. 17-year-old Tommy Lee Gillard has dreams just like every other teenage girl. Hers is to model. She also loves spending time with her nephew and something else. What's your favorite music? Chris Bodie. The shy and affectionate teen sees her dreams and the world around her through a different lens. That's because Tommy Lee is autistic. Her mother, Tony, says she got the shocking news when her daughter was just four years old. She just wanted to be accepted. And I think that was the hardest part for me to see my child being taunted and bullied and teased because of her her diagnosis. Autism is just part of what makes Tommy Lee unique. In 2007, the family discovered she needed a kidney and her sister Sierra stepped in and gave her one. She's been through so much between um, the kidney transplant and being diagnosed with autism. She's just, she's just a soldier. She, she gets through it really well. If you know someone that has a child. The need to advocate is why Tony and other parents got together and started Minority Community for Autism Awareness, or MCAA, an organization designed to educate the African American community about autism and treatment resources. But it's just so, so important to get early intervention, and that is the reason for this group. We have to get this information into these communities. There's no studies or any research on African American females. According to the Centers for Disease Control, one in every 110 kids is autistic. For boys, it's one in every 70, and girls, one in 315, an increase of 600 percent in the last 20 years. What we're finding is that it's probably genetic. Dr. Jackie Wynn with Nationwide Children's Hospital says the numbers are staggering, and most kids are diagnosed by age three. That they're not playing like other kids might play. They're not socializing with other children or even adults like other kids might. Their language might be delayed or impaired. African American and other um, minority individuals are underdiagnosed because the resources aren't as easily available. Happy birthday. While this family moves forward to make life less complicated for Tommy Lee, they also realize there are life lessons she shows them every day. I just want to make Tommy happy. I just want to give her quality life, make her happy, and, and, and again, she, she's a blessing to us. Tony Johnson says she will continue to educate the African American community about autism, and she's hoping that other parents will do the same. To find out more about autism and its treatments, you can go to autismohio.org. In Columbus, Ohio, I'm Chandrea Thomas.